I cannot wait, I cannot wait to see how many people in the comment section try to call me a hypocrite while all of you are forgetting rule number one, which is don't be a dick. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And for all of you who I'm talking about in this video, I just wanna remind you that Rewire Your Anger is now available in audiobook form, all right? So make sure you check down in the description below as well as down in the pinned comment, all right? Because a lot of people need to start working on their anger and I really hope, I really hope this message gets through to a lot of you, all right? I'm gonna start out by saying this. For any of you watching my video who have assumed that I like hate Trisha because of the videos I've made in the past, you clearly, you clearly are not paying attention to what my videos are, what they're about, and who I am as a person. I cover Trisha and uh, Jason Nash's, you know, relationship to use it as an example of what should and should not be happening in a relationship. And one of those reasons being, which I think Trisha missed, you know, when watching my videos, is that I can relate because I was in relationships like this. So I know what the signs are and I'm coming from a place of experience, all right? So do I appreciate the things that she said about me in her video? Absolutely not. Do I think that it should be promoted a toxic relationship online to millions of people? Absolutely not. But I can understand, you know, that Trisha was upset and that's why she said a lot of the things that she said about me. I actually talk about this in my book um, about rewire your anger. Like I am empathetic. I understand why people get angry and it helps me not retaliate in the same way. But here's a story about why I'm making this video in the first place, all right? So since uh, the little drama between Trisha Paytas and I, if you wanna call it that, I've backed off of making videos about her, you know? I made a video a week or two ago, maybe last week, about her fans, but not directly about her, all right? But anyways, I backed off a little bit. Clearly she was hurt, she was upset. I was like, all right, let's, let's just chill out. There's plenty of stuff to talk about on YouTube, you know what I mean? But at the same time, and I don't know, I don't know, this is speculation, if you will, Maybe maybe Trish learned from the situation between us as well, because over the past couple weeks since this happened, her and Jason Nash haven't been posting like their fights and you know the toxic stuff that goes on in the relationship. Now, are these things improving in their relationship? Maybe, have they just decided to keep that stuff offline? So guys like me don't use it as an example? Maybe, but Kudos to her either way, because usually, because I don't even watch Trisha's videos, a lot of the videos that I've made commentary on to use as examples for relationship advice, you guys send them to me. So not only have I not seen anything, but I haven't heard of anything. None of you have DM'd me and said, oh my God, you gotta see this video, ah, right? So that's another thing that might be going on. But here's the thing, when I've kind of like checked in to see what's going on and I follow her on social media, um, like Instagram and Twitter as well, but like, I've been proud of her. Like, the girl's been hitting the gym and I'm like, you go girl. Like, I've been hitting the gym too um, over the past few weeks. I've got my butt back in the gym. I actually went to the gym this morning, you know? So I've been proud of her for going to the gym. Like. I give credit where credit's due. Here's the thing, here's the thing, everybody. You know that black and white thinking I keep trying to teach you guys about? People are not all good and they're not all bad. I try to give people credit where credit's due. Um, a lot of you haven't seen it, but a long time ago, I actually made a very positive video about Trisha Paytas when she started to go to therapy and she opened up about self-sabotage. But I'm gonna give her credit for going to the gym. Like, this is a good example. This is a good example to set for her audience. Like, hey, listen, I'm going to the gym. I'm trying to get better in shape and stuff like that. So I checked out the new video she posted where she was just finishing up at the gym. She was like out of breath. She was like talking about it. And she was actually like talking about like pushing herself and stuff like that. I'm like, that's cool, that's cool. I'm like, okay, I got a trainer now, so I'm working out, obviously, but the harder I push myself, the more of a workout I get, because he can give me the moves, but if I'm, I'm half-assing the moves, or if he would say do 20, in the past I'd be like, okay, if I do 15, that's good, but now I really push myself to do 
the 20, even if it takes me longer. Like, what is, oh, it's like 11.15 right now. So even if it takes me longer, I'm fine with it. And I tell him that too. I'm like, I'll stay an extra 15 minutes. I'm like, I just need to breathe, catch myself, and like, and finish this, this set. That's like motivational, you know? Because not only, um, you know, like, do we have to do this with our physical health, but we have to do that with our mental health too, right? Like, I'm trying to teach you guys that your mental health is just in a, as important as your physical health. So like people, you know, we we think a lot about, like when we go to the gym, like push yourself, run, uh, run an extra mile, you know, stay on the treadmill like an extra 20 minutes, you know, lift five or 10 more pounds, do one more rep, you know, we push ourselves. But think about that when it comes to our mental health, right? Like go to this social situation, stay at that situation a little bit longer, talk to a stranger today, reach out and ask your friend how they're doing today. Like you can do the same thing with your mental health, just push yourself just a little bit. So I was like, oh, this is cool. Like this is a good example. And I hope people are learning from that. But oh my God, then, then I read the freaking comments, all right? I'm not even actually, I'm not even gonna read them. I'm just gonna put them up on here on the screen right now. Like holy crap, like holy crap you guys, like man, like. I don't know, now I'm starting to understand a little bit about why she was offended by me. Like, if this is the kind of stuff she's getting, I'm like, Jesus Christ, people. And here's what breaks my heart. I know some of you are like, you call me like the dad of YouTube, but <laughs> now it's really about to show. Like, I even saw some of my rewired soldiers in this video, in the comments section, talking crap. And like, God, I'm such a dad. I'm disappointed in you. I am disappointed in you. That is not, that is not what my channel's about, right? And like, here's the, here's the thing too. Like, I actually got a comment just this morning and maybe, maybe before I read this comment to you, like, maybe that's why I'm making this video because when it comes to weight struggles and trying to get healthy, like, I can definitely relate to Trisha in this. Just like I can relate to her relationship with Jason. Like, you guys, that's what I'm doing here with my channel. I'm trying to help you guys learn and see what can you relate to, what can you improve on. But, like, I can relate to this, so here's the comment that I actually got this morning, okay? Go spend more time outside exercising. Like, spending more time outside playing with your son instead of making YouTube videos while you keep gaining weight and are slowly killing yourself as you're judging strangers' mental health and giving advice without cred and without credentials at all. And everyone can call me mean or a bully, but I'm just stating facts. And as a registered nurse, so I do actually can say something about someone's health because I actually studied for it, I am seriously concerned for his long-term health. And I don't want his kid to grow up without a father because his his father died of a heart attack while sitting in his chair filming another YouTube video. He probably switched his addiction to food after he went sober, which we see a lot with drug addicts that go clean. That's why people who stop smoking often gain weight. They switch the addiction to something else. But since food isn't a harmful drug as doctors as harmful as drugs, doctors don't try more to prevent weight gain after detox, but then 10 years later, it's a cardiologist problem because he's filled with plaque, developed diabetes, and is going to die from an addiction. Just not drugs, but food. So this is actually on my um, my conspiracy video where I talked about better help. So just to give you some context for my response, I said, that's an interesting conspiracy, but unfortunately it's inaccurate. This is why you have to do your research before coming up with such an in-depth conspiracy. I'm down 50 pounds in the last year. I go to the gym, I'm vegetarian, and just had a doctor's visit where she said I'm doing great. I'm only telling you this so you can work on your conspiracies so they'll be more solid in the future. I just want you to succeed, Sharon. So yeah, I got a little sassy in that. But yeah, like this is something I get a lot. So by the way, I'm not gonna dive into the story, uh, but you guys check out my, uh, my playlist, Losing Weight Mindfully, but I actually explained how my drug addiction made me put on a lot of weight. Like before I got into my addiction, I was only about 220 um, or 230, something around there. And when I got sober six and a half years ago at 27 years old, I was about 450 pounds, okay? So since I got sober, I am down to 350 pounds, all right? So like I'm actually, I, I know, I know exactly what she's talking about. It's just a shame that she like came at me sideways because of it. But just looking at me, you if you're just meeting me for the first time, you don't realize that I'm actually lost a lot of weight and I am improving my life quite a bit. And part of what happened when I first got sober was I had um, 
congestive heart failure, okay? My heart was about the size of my lung. I had a 10% chance of living because of the drugs I was doing, because of the alcohol I drank. So my doctor's visit I just had, it was a follow-up because of an echocardiogram I got, and she said my heart is doing amazing, all things considered. And my doctor's proud of me for my weight loss, all right? So I'm not perfect yet, but I am working on it. But anyways, after I said that, she replied and said, well then, I'm sorry for jumping the gun. I'm very happy for you working on your health and that you're healthy at the moment. I still don't agree that you're acting like a psychiatrist when you're not, but I guess my opinion on that isn't going to change things. Also, a fact can't be a conspiracy. Addicts do tend to shift their addiction from drugs or alcohol to food or cigarettes. But keep up the good work and I truly hope you and your son have many years together. And then I replied with, I appreciate you. So yeah, like maybe this is why I'm, you know, empathetic towards Trisha in this situation. Cause I get stuff like this, you know? And like, I just talked about this in my video about Eugenia Cooney, okay? Don't shame people. Like people will argue that they, you know, they care or they're concerned. Well, give credit where credit's due without enabling the behavior. So like, I get it because like Trisha, I'm going to the gym, I'm, I've been vegetarian for over a year and stuff like that, but my eating habits are not where they should be yet, okay? So although I'm not doing mukbangs on, you know, camera, on YouTube, my eating habits aren't the best and it's something that I'm trying to work on. And when I say trying, I don't even like that word. I need to do better, all right? But the last thing that I will say, Papa Chris of The Rewired Soul, the last thing I will say, something that broke my heart is in the video where I responded to Trisha, you know, getting upset with me. And, you know, like I kept it cool and, you know, that's just who I am. Like, I just pointed out, you know, like, I'm not skeptical, you admitted to this and, you know, whatever. Like, what broke my heart was looking in the comments and seeing my audience, you know, just talking all this trash to her, right? Like, listen, you can defend somebody without tearing the other person down, okay? Let me repeat that for the people in the back. You can defend somebody without trying to tear the other person down, all right? Go back to the golden rule. Do not be a dick, okay? Like, this stuff, it just does not fix anything. You want an example? How many arguments have you had with a significant other where they came out and attacked you and then you returned it by attacking them? Like, did they ever say, oh, good point, thanks for attacking me, problem solved. No, that never happens, okay? Attack does not cure the other attack. You know, we can't just keep going back and forth, all right? That's what we're talking about when we say like this petty bull BS. Like, that's one of the reasons why I backed off from the videos because I didn't want to come off as petty. I just decided to, you know, do other, you know, videos and topics and things like that. But anyways, you guys, just be a little bit nicer to people and, you know, try to encourage each other. I don't know. Like, I know I'm not under any crazy belief that I'm gonna solve the internet mean problem and bullying problem. But for any of you who are trying to follow my channel and follow like what I'm trying to do here, like do me a favor and just quit like trying to tear people down online. Like when you're commenting, like it's, pff, man, here's, here's Father Chris one last time. Like if you don't have something nice to say, just don't say it at all. Like you, you can watch a video without leaving a nasty comment, all right? But anyways, if you find yourself struggling with leaving nasty comments and just generally being a jerk to people, don't forget, pick up a copy of Rewire Your Anger, now available as an audiobook for the low price of $7.99, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to get exclusive content, be part of our monthly group calls and all that good stuff, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.